How's it going everyone? This is Shadow Trainer 1030 and today I thought I'd bring you all a discussion video talking about a possibility of two regional schools of Pokemon swap because of something special going to happen this week. So yes, I'm going to talk about these, these two specific Pokemon, how, why they could fit in, and so forth. The purpose of this video is just to get fun ideas and things that Niantic could do for us in Pokemon Go. It might happen, but we'll see. So, whatever I do, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, the two specific Pokemon that I'm talking about are Solrock and Lunatone. Now, the reason why I think they could swap this week is because um, there's a supermoon, which is supposed to occur in a couple of days, and I've been seeing images of a possibility of a lunar eclipse. I'm not sure if that's true, but let me know in the comments below if I'm correct or not, if uh, lunar eclipse is supposed to happen this week. But anyways, um, Becca was saying about the supermoon supposed to occur, so I thought it may be a possibility that um, Solrock and Lunatone uh, swap regions at like, this specific time period, and then when the uh, supermoon is over, that's when the Pokemon swap back. You get what I'm saying? Because I thought it would be a really fun idea that Nancy could do, kind of like they did with uh, Zangus and uh, Saviper. They just swap regions now that are permanently right where they are. Like we have uh, Saviper here, and um, somewhere in Europe, Asia thing have uh, uh, Zangus. So, for some of you are if you're curious of why um, Solrock and Lunatone are regional schools of Pokemon, I already covered it in one of my videos. But uh, to recap again, what I said in one of my videos, uh, Solrock represents the sun, and Lunatone represents the moon, and they can't really be in one location, so they have to be separate. Yeah, that's the way I can put it. I, I don't know. I'm just guessing of uh, why they are uh, separate. So the the reason why um, I think it could be a fun idea for Niantic to swap regional Pokemon on that specific day on uh, a Super Boon is because this would uh, help trainers to finally get certain Pokemon into their Pokédex, kind of like they did with, uh, like I said already, with uh, Zangus and Viper. And not only that. There was a global catch challenge that um, players at us in the U.S. were finally able to get Farfetch here and catch it. While in Europe, something like that, they got uh, King of Khan. Would have been nice if every round of the world got a chance to get both Farfetch and King of Khan, but I don't know what is up with Niantic. But I do agree with one of the uh, the Pokemon players that will eventually get uh, all the regional schools of Pokemon here in the U.S. And also, the um, a lot of players are really wanting trading, but guys, I don't think trading is ever going to come. But that's a whole topic, a different topic of a separate video thing, which I'll go over a little bit later on. But the main point, back to the topic of this video. So what I'm thinking that um, Niantic could do uh, during the Super Moon event is not only have the two regional schools of Pokemon swap, but also increase the uh, spawn rate for these two Pokemon. You know what I'm saying? Like, increase the chance to be able to finally find um, Lunatone in the U.S. here, and increase the chance spawn rate for Soul Rock at Europe, Asia kind of thing. And it just kind of will be a fun thing to do, and the reason I say increase the spawn rate is because they're kind of a little bit rare to find. You don't see those too often, unless you all have found a possibility of a Soul Rock and or Lunatone nest. Let, let, leave it down in the comments below if you have, and also coordinates, that would really be appreciated. Yeah, kind of like what they did with uh, Farfetch. Like, they increased the spawn rate for that and made players able to finally get one. And speaking of uh, increased spawn rates, we also have uh, Dratini uh, event coming up pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully it'll be a shiny this time. And um, since we are near the end of January, we're only like a couple weeks away from the middle of February, which is around the time when uh, Kyogre is supposed to leave. Now, I'm going to mention that a lot of times about Kyogre leave and stuff like that, because I feel like that most of you are going to forget that uh, Kyogre leave and stuff like that. But hopefully, you, hopefully that you've all uh, caught enough Kyogres you need and also be able to get 100% uh, on IV or close to that one. For me, I'm close to, I feel like I'm pretty much good with what I have. Uh, just waiting for the next legendary Pokemon to come and also finally be uh, here and be available to us. So yeah, that's all I got to cover in this video. So to recap everything, uh, just mention the possibility of um, Soul Rocket Lunatone swap places during the uh, Super Moon event. Uh, the, the 
possibility of a increased spawn rate for one of these Pokemon, and how these events all tie in with the other events that we originally had, and also uh, other things that happened during the game. So yeah, that's all I got for you all. So let me know in the comments below your thoughts on the discussion video I have for you all. And also, what's your idea of the uh, Super Moon event? Do you think that Niantic is going to swap these two original schools of Pokemon? Or do you think that Niantic is going to introduce a, a specific kind of Pokemon into this game? For me, like I said, I would like them to do to, I just see uh, Solrock and Lutone swap, swap regions just for one day for this time period and then swap back. I think that would kind of be nice for players and just sell, they'll do a little bit of celebration of uh, Super Moon. Even though it's not really a big kind of thing, but if you think about it, it's, feel like it's like a once in a lifetime for these Super Moon things, you get what I'm saying? So if you, enjoy, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, check out the channel, subscribe, or bell for more gameplay videos. And I will see you all in the next video.